Hello, turts. Hey, turtle nerds. Welcome back to another video. I always struggle filming in this vehicle. Anyway, in today's video, the sun is seriously right at me. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is going ahead. All right, so y'all know, you just saw, I have my my little turtle pond in the garage. If you haven't seen that video, hit the link right up over yonder to go watch that. Essentially, I have a 110 gallon stock tank in my garage with some interesting little lineup of, of turtles and terrapins. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go to the pet store because, all right, so what, what's been happening is I've been feeding uh, the, the terrapins and they kind of like they're very messy eaters and I don't want to have to put them in a separate feeding enclosure I like to just put the food directly in I'm like all the way over here whatever they make a stinking mess and so I need a little cleanup little cleanup crew I speak English I promise so today what I'm gonna do is go to the pet store get a bunch of different types of fish or whatever I'm thinking platies I don't know we'll see what type I want to get I'm fairly sure that they get their shipments in on Wednesdays today is Thursday so we're gonna go take a look and see what types of fish and things they have and buy stuff yeah and i figured that this is a fun little like last week was kind of like a depressing video so today i wanted to do something fun and i wanted to do some shopping therapy and buy some new fish this is so difficult today ta-da i've arrived I uh, look nobody cared who i was till i put on the mask oh <laughs> Dude, dude, give me fishies. Bump, give me, give me. Ooh, give me. Hello, mama. See, this is why I like to say that you should add fish. This is why I'm going to add fish in my thing. Because they get bored. Look, she's just swimming against the glass. Bored. Hi. Hi, booger. Hello. Look how little. Look, they're so little. Look, a little baby. Check it out. They're getting all shipments. I probably should have waited to come. This is wrong. Endler is not a guppy. It is a type of live bear separate from the guppy that's been integrated a lot in farms and in the hobby. So genetically pure Endlers are super, super difficult to find. Not a guppy, technically. So they just got a shipment in of new fish. So I'm just gonna kind of wait and hold out to see what other types of platies. So I'm getting four of these and just some regular platies. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. Awesome. All right, Perfect. Right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. What the? Put them right down like that. All right. So now let us get our butts on out of here. Get home and get these guys in the new stock tank. I figure, you know, there's a lot of scraps of food that I was noticing on the bottom. And so I want a little cleanup crew. I want some little friends to eat them all. So we got four like gold mollies or sword tails and four five just like assorted platies. Only like 25 bucks, which is kind of crazy. Okay, we'll add them. Hopefully they will survive and thrive and breed in there. And if not, what are you gonna do? So let's get rolling. Okay, now that I'm back, by the way, here's my stock tank, here are my turts. The water in this is probably way different from the water in these bags. So I would normally float these guys, but of course the turtles are gonna try to bite them through the bag, especially Mr. Pancake here. So I'm just gonna grab a bucket or a little tub and I'm gonna add the water from the stock tank into that bucket so that way they can acclimate like normally without having to worry about being eaten. Oh, let's grab this. We're gonna go like this. Here, so we're just gonna Grab some water like that. And now we're gonna let these guys temperature acclimate just a little bit. I know friends, don't worry. You are gonna have a lot of space very shortly. So I'm gonna leave for like 10, 15 minutes, maybe not even, just let them get up to temperature. Um, and then I will be right back. All right, like 20 minutes or so later. And you can see there's condensation on the top of the bag because of how much warmer it is uh, outside than in their little things. So I can't find my net spotted. Give me this. Okay, so I've got the fish right here. Let's go ahead and unbox. There we go. Okay, let's get these fellas first. Scooch out the way. There we go. Got them all in this bag. And we're gonna release. These ones are a lot larger. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in the, in the enclosure. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead, four of them. Toss them all in. 
Now I'm gonna give them a little bit to settle in and um, I'll show them to you guys. Check it out, so here's one of them and the others, look, 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 look. The others are all back there. They're all kind of schooling together as well, which is kind of neat. But you can see there's the platies. You can see them, they're the darker ones. And then, oh boy, one of the turtles just went after them as you can see. But um, they should adapt fairly well, fairly quickly. Pancake's gonna give them a chase there. I'm gonna toss some food to dissuade the turtles from chasing and eating them. And yeah, this could be a very failed experiment. So now the turtles are still chasing the fish around a little bit, but as you can see, they're giving up and just going after the pellets. They're just giving up and going after the pellets shortly after. And then actually all the little food scraps that the turtles are making, the fish are then going after. So I think that there's enough fake plants. There's the fake plants up here. There's the driftwood down there. There's that little tube down there. I think that there's enough hiding spots for the fish to the point where they should be okay. Um, but if not, I gave this my best effort. It gave them their the best shot at survival as I possibly could. And whatever happens at this point is pretty much gonna happen. Look at these little fellas munch crunching. It's actually kind of nice to just sit here and, and just watch them and, you know, kind of enjoy the animals that I have. Hi, boogers. And it's really cool. I'm watching the fish start to come in and uh, soon the turtles should give up chasing the fish just because they're lazy bums. And look, you can see there's one of the fish that's up with the turtles eating a lot of the scraps because they're such messy eaters. I'm really looking forward to putting some of the ornate, other ornate diamondback terrapins out here. It's gonna be really fun to see how they all interact together. This is fun. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, I certainly did. If you guys don't know, you could have watched this video a day early. If you click the link right up over here and head over to my Patreon and consider supporting me over there. You can also get access to merch such as this, uh, direct messaging with me, all kinds of fun stuff. So please consider checking that out. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.